we're going to clean the ears and that just makes the tape stick a little better. She has a little scratch on her ear, so that probably doesn't feel good. Both ears. And we're just using one inch athletic tape. I'm going to tape it over the point of the ear and really smash it down. Another one over here. And see how scratched her ears are from playing with her no. sister? Hey, sometimes this is a two person job. And that's high enough, otherwise you make it fold weird here. So their ears are actually going to grow while they're in the tape. And that, um, that, hi baby. So then we're going to take one layer attached to one ear on the inside, sticky side towards the ear. And this is too long. And then we're going to get it just tight enough so there's like a finger amount of tension in between. Smash it to the other tape. Now she looks like a little, a little mutant. So, and then you can put a little tape in between to, so it's not sticky. And there we go. So we're going to leave this in place for probably, usually we do it until it falls off, but um, if you're going to do it that long, if you go more than three days and you need to smell their ears, make sure they don't smell really sweet like they're getting a yeast infection in there. So, so far when I've been doing it, I go ahead and cut it off at um, three days. And then just really make sure when you cut it that you don't cut their ears. So, that's super critical. Okay, isn't she cute now? And mm -hmm. I hate it. Aww. So, usually at about three days, they start freaking out and trying to get it off. So, if they get it off, that's okay. And you may have to retake later. There you go. This is Rain, Kamani's Yay. ears apparent. <laughs>